Well, how you install the beautiful tuning app. The installation is exactly like when you install anything from the app exchange with the important difference that because you need to extract information from the curator system, you need to provide a file that contains information about your rules because this tuning app will work specifically with the rules and the way that you have them configured in your environment. So, what you need to do is that you need to provide a security token and you know how to do that. You basically go into uh, authorization services in here. You probably have know this, but let me, in case that uh, some of you are watching this video for the first time, you go here on the authorized service, you either generate a token and you need to deploy changes if you do that, or you take one that you already have. If you want to share it, I mean, it should have one for every app, but you grab it like this, you know, do copy paste, and now you have your security token. So you go into your app, you put the security token in here, and then right here you need to drag and drop a file and it's really telling you how you actually get that file. So you go into you SSH into the curator console and you run this command which is going to produce a file uh, that you need to unzip and actually drag and drop here. As you see I did it uh, today. Uh, today is the 7th, yeah, February the 7th, uh, March the 7th, sorry, and, and now this is a little bit of a pain in the neck and all this is going to go away with with a uh, patch that is going to be done to Curator 732 and 731 uh, so, so you don't have to worry about this but for now uh, every time you modify your rules you need to rerun this process so your tuning app will have the latest version of your rules and that's kind of a little bit of a pain in the neck so the developers have created a simple shell script that I will put in my share box folder and the link to it is in the video description of this uh, video. So I run I run that uh, that uh, program in here. Let me actually see okay here so the, the the script is called generate rules file dot sh and you specify the IP address of the app host or app node if you are not in 732 uh, if you run it on the console you don't specify anything and it will look uh, in the console for it but if you have an app node of app, of app host you need to specify that one in here and as you see uh, I when I copy the, the file I need to change the permission so I could run it and the program run this is the cost uh, the, the customs uh, the CMT tool, the, the change management tool, configuration management tool that extract all those you know properties and all, all the details of your rules and that's how it can do all those night graphics or all dependencies. This is specific to my system and it will be specific to yours when you run it in your, your machine. And it generates that uh, file, you see it in here, that ends in 234.zip and actually the script puts it automatically in here. So once you have installed your app, app the first time, if you make changes or when you are about to run the, the, the tuning tool, you want to just run the script and it will put it in here. In fact, to prove that, let me actually pause the video. So I have a print screen of the first time that I run this and I did that, run that, uh, this command manually. And I took the file and I drag and drop it, and this is what I have. So notice that it ends is is actually on February 26th, versus the one that we just saw, which is from today. And I didn't drag and drop it here. I mean, the script will do that for you. So it's a nice way of doing the installation and simplifying the process. And every time that you are going to be running your tuning app, you may want to run that script to make sure you have the latest version of those. And again, all this complexity goes away when the, the, the patches will be installed. Hope you enjoy it.